Please do not make her leave. I'm sorry, Casey. I can't trust you and Maddie together. Why not? Well, A, because you take risks without considering the consequences. Casey, you haven't learned anything from your mistakes with Gwen, have you? <sighs> Mrs. Hughes was right. Just stay strong, Maddie. Room service. I didn't order anything. Yeah, you did. Sweet. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. What did you drink? Good. What's wrong, work? Kids. Ah, you know, number one rule in date night, and you just broke it in the first I know, seconds. I know, I'm sorry, but remember uh, the case he was asking about judges that were willing to marry underage kids? It was that school project? Yeah, yeah. Well, last night he and Maddie drove Gwen and Will to Springfield and they got hitched. What? Mm, yeah, Casey lied to you. Also, that you could help Will and Gwen so they could get married without their parents' consent. Oh, and Casey and Maddie, they're a couple now. Mm. Yeah, I've caught them together on the sofa. They were, but I, I kicked Maddie out. Well, you have had a full day. Um, mm -hmm. You kicked Maddie out on the street. Well, yeah. Can't have them carrying on like that before our very eyes under our own roof. Well, better under our roof than somewhere else. Where exactly did Maddie go? Well, she's living with Henry Coleman. Here. At a hotel. Wow. Good call. Why don't you make that drink a double? Maddie, open the door. Sorry, I can't. I'm a terrible influence. Matt, open the door. Casey, your mom was right. We're poisoned for each other. What movie is that from? Casey, it's not a movie. This is our lives. Maddie, just open the door before one more stupid thing comes out of your mouth. Please, really, just go. Is that what you really want? Where's your brother? He's at a poker game. Great, so he'll be gone for hours. Mm, unless he loses. I think tonight's probably his lucky night. Hmm. No. We shouldn't. I insist Maddie must come and live with me. Are you sure, Mom? Because we'd never ask. Yes, we would. <laughs> so you will keep Maddie really, really busy, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep them both so busy. But, 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 but not together. I mean, the whole idea is to keep them apart. All right. I'm sorry. Of course you understand. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to go talk to Maddie now. And thanks, Mom. Sure. Yeah, thanks, Lisa. Oh, man. It's finally happened, hasn't it? What's happened? I finally turned into Barbara Ryan. I am sneaky and underhanded, and I'm manipulating my son's life. You grounded your son. That was very straightforward. And Barbara Ryan's rap sheet is a lot longer than yours. You're not even in her league. <laughs> what are you doing? Calling Casey and making sure he's at home. Oh, well, that's sneaky and underhanded. Yeah, believe it. Mm. Mm, did she get that? You got it? It's my dad. And they definitely get it. No. What if he went home and he saw that you weren't there? She saw it with my mom. It's a weekly day. Still, he's still checking up on you. Not anymore. Maybe, mm, maybe it's a sign. Of? Uh, that we should slow down. Henry will be home any minute. Come on, man. He's a hell of a gambler. Yeah, but he always draws to inside straights. It's his fatal flaw. Daddy, we don't have to go any faster anymore. I know. I was almost sensitive. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, okay, so I found the uh, casualist proof. I figured it out. You want to see? No. 